It is the 21st day of May 2019. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Marithina Sidi. These are the stories making the headlines across the country. We start off the bulletin from Hoima District, where the death toll from the boat accident that was carrying footballers on Lake Albert on Sunday has risen to eight. This was revealed by police after it recovered five or more bodies on Monday. The Albertine Regional Police Commander Denso Bura said their preliminary investigations indicate that the accident was caused by overloading and bad weather, which saw strong winds overturn the boat as it set sail. The boat, which was carrying 50 people, including footballers and their fans, capsized a few meters after setting off four Ruga landing site in Chigolovia sub-county from Fofo landing site in Etonia Parish, Buseruka sub-county in Hoima district. Moving down to Jinja district, Kakura Sugar Limited has awarded 92 vocational scholarships worth 200 million shillings to students in Busoga for the academic year 2018-2020 under the Kakura Sugar Busoga Foundation. The adding ceremony of the scholarships to some students was held at Kakura Sugar Limited factory in Jinja district. Kakura Sugar Busoga Foundation, which has been initiated this year, was conceived as a way to address the job creation and skills gap in the youth for the greater region, to the greater Busoga region, I beg your pardon. Then Kakura Sugar Limited is based in Busoga and has always been cognizant for needs and challenges the region faces. According to a statement read by the member of Kakura Sugar Busoga Foundation, David Maduli, who represented the chairperson of Kakura Sugar Busoga Foundation, Victoria Sechitoriko, Kakura Sugar Busoga Foundation is solely funded by Kakura Sugar Limited to provide scholarships to students pursuing vocational courses in the region. He added that there would be opportunities for internships for qualified students within Madvan Group is various activities. You're still watching New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Ruthina Sejeta. So take a break and look at what is making the headlines into this copy of the New Vision. Those who cannot access the hard copy of the new vision, the link is on your screen. All you have to do is to subscribe to our e paper and access all the products published by Vision Group. Those with smartphones, go to your Play Store, download the Vision Group e paper app, and access all the products published by Vision Group. You're still watching New Vision TV news around Uganda. Let us continue looking at more stories making the headlines across the country. Now, from Arua district, the Italian ambassador to Uganda, Burundi, and Rwanda, His Excellency Fonora de Monica, has pledged to lobby for facilities for sports in refugee settlement to promote talent and build solidarity. Now, this is in the move to promote sports activities between refugees and host communities in the Westner districts of Koboko, Yumbe, and Arua. He made the commitment during the closing ceremony of a three-day solidarity football tournament on Saturday that gathered 160 young players aged 13 to 16 and coaches in the refugee football competition played at Muvara Secondary School. Now, both refugees and host communities from Bidibidi, Lobule, Mvem, Vempi and Rhino Camp settlements played at Movora Senior Secondary School with BDB refugees and host community players emerging the winners. BDB refugees and host community players beat Lobule refugees 2 1, emerging the winner, and Vempi Camp came third and Rhino Camp took the fourth position. Let's close the bulletin from Luweri District where the decomposing body of a six-year-old child who went missing early this month has been found. A pupil of Gender Primary School in Wobblin's Luweri District, the deceased was found dumped in a ditch on Saturday, half a kilometer from her home. The body was wrapped in a bedsheet and had 
strangulation marks. Now, Godfrey Lugando, the father of the deceased, reported a missing child is case at Katikam police post in, on May the 8th. Two suspects have since been arrested. Yesterday, police spokesperson Fred Enang identified the suspects in custody as Henry, Lug Henry Lubega, 14 years, and Brian Tahire, 19 years, both Lugando's colleagues. He said the alleged kidnap was intended to procure, to procure a ransom. Enang said both suspects and Lugando are casual laborers at a neighboring home which belongs to a city businesswoman only identified as Kaniva. That is it we had for you today. Remember you can get more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website which is newvision.co.uj forward slash video. You can follow us on social media too. Facebook is The New Vision, Twitter is at New Vision Wire, Instagram is at New Vision Wire and our YouTube channel is New Vision TV. Catch up with me on my Twitter handle. I am Earth The Voice. Thank you for watching.